Mo Gilligan is donating his fee for hosting the Brit Awards to charity. The 33-year-old comedian has taken over from Jack Whitehall as the compere for the annual ceremony, which returns to the O2 Arena in London on February 8. Yet the masked singer judge has revealed that as he believes in giving back he will be giving his paycheck to the maternity charity 5x More, an organization committed to changing black women and birthing people's maternal health outcomes in the UK. In a tweet, Mo explained, I believe in giving back so I'm going to be donating my fee for the at Brits to at 5x more they do extraordinary work and when the spotlight is on me I must shine it on others. He added on Instagram, last year I had the year of my life it was amazing so I'm starting how I finished, I'm starting it by hosting the 2022 at Brits award and I'm extremely excited to be donating my at Brits fee to at 5x more underscore. They do amazing work in the community and when the spotlight is on me it's only right I shine it on others. Give these ladies a follow to see the amazing work they do for maternal health. Sharing his excitement to be hosting the Brits, Mo said in a previous statement, It's an absolute privilege to host the 2022 Brit Awards. I'm truly honored to be asked. We're already in the extensive planning stages and all I can say is, I promise we're going to give it all we've got to create an incredible night for music fans everywhere. Let's go! Adele leads the nominations for this year's ceremony, with four nods. The London-born star is shortlisted for Album of the Year, Artist of the Year, Song of the Year and Best Pop slash R&B categories after releasing her new album 30 in November. Adele is joined on four nominations by Dave, Ed Sheeran, and Little Sims. Dave is in contention for the best hip-hop slash crime slash rap, Song of the Year, Artist of the Year and Album of the Year gongs. Ed, who released Equals in October, has also been nominated for the Album of the Year, Artist of the Year and Song of the Year accolades, as well as the best pop slash R&B gong. Little Sims is up for the best hip-hop slash crime slash rap, Album of the Year, Artist of the Year and Best New Artist Awards. Meanwhile, the Best International Artist accolade will be contested by Billie Eilish, Doja Cat, Lil Nas X, Olivia Rodrigo and Taylor Swift. Olivia, who released her debut album, Sour, in May has enjoyed a meteoric rise this year, and she's also been nominated for the Best International Song Award. Elsewhere, the Best International Group Gong will go to one of ABBA, BTS, Monaskin, who won the Eurovision Song Contest earlier this year, Silk Sonic and War on Drugs. Holly Humberstone has already been announced as the winner of the coveted Rising Star Award following in the footsteps of artists such as Adele and Sam Smith. The upcoming ceremony will feature a new selection of gender-neutral categories, after the organizers decided to scrap the best male and female categories and create a broader group of nominees. Bosses claimed the move was in a bid to be as inclusive and as relevant as possible and allowed people to enter who do not identify as a man or woman. Best International Artist of the Year will be used in replace of Best International Female, or Male Solo Artist. The 2022 ceremony will feature four new awards, which will all be decided by public vote, Alternative Slash Rock Act, Hip Hop Slash Grime Slash Rap Act, Dance Act and Pop Slash R&B Act. Meanwhile the Song of the Year prize will recognize the featured artists, rather than just the lead artists or named collaborators. The changes come after singer Sam Smith, who identifies as non-binary, put organizers under pressure to scrap male and female categories earlier this year. The three-time winner said, 
Music for me has always been about unification not division. I look forward to a time where awards shows can be reflective of the society we live in. This was slapped down by event planners at the time because it risked being counterproductive to diversity and equality. The Brit Awards 2022 will air on ITV on February 8 live from the O2 Arena in London.